This is Changeling the Podcast. Welcome to Changeling the Podcast. Come for the glamour, stay for the vibes. I'm your host, Josh. With this is your other host, Puka. Say hi, Puka. Well, hello. What are we talking about tonight, Puka? Oh, just talking a bit about the state of the podcast as we enter Winter Regnum. Mm -hmm. So, some downtime, sorting things out, planning for the future, etc., etc. I don't know. I feel feel pretty good about the second half of season two since the last time we did one of these states of the podcast. So, but yeah. uh, I guess maybe let's start by talking about some of the cool stuff that's happened in the last six months. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for finally getting the YouTube thing set up. <laughs> well, they just came out with it this year. Like this fall was the ability to just add our feed. So that's why it's now regularly just putting it in. And uh, that's because I think they did that because... Google's getting rid of Google Podcasts sometime late 2024. Uh, you can, if you're listening to us on Google Podcasts, you can keep doing that for now. Uh, but they're replacing it with YouTube Music Podcasts. There's a little separate podcast thing. Strange. So yeah. So basically, I had to set things up to make it automatically make YouTube videos. It's just the image from the episode with audio. And if you're listening to it there, great. And if you'd like to listen to it, please, that's a perfectly good platform for us to listen to us. If that works yeah. for you. In fact, it technically is better for us than the other ones, but we're not going to push it. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> well, speaking of other platforms, I'm looking at some metrics here, and there's a lot of folks who are coming to our podcast from what's listed as other sources, and I don't know if that includes YouTube, but... No, it wouldn't. The way podcasts work, I'm surprised, surprised how much the metrics they do get, mm-hmm. because it just... Um... They put out like what's called an RSS feed, which basically you just download this file that just has both computer and sort of human readable. It has all the information you need on the podcast and you, then tells you where to download our actual MP3 you listen to. So. Hmm. Well, we're always curious to hear where people are finding our show. and Yeah, you ever want to tell us that? And if you come on the Discord or wherever, if you just want to say anything to us, that <laughs> just say that, we'll be very happy to hear it. Yeah. I can also say that at least from this side of things, our most popular episodes at this point, I mean, a lot of our episodes are getting several hundred listens, which is nice. Um, Our biggest day, there was a giant spike on November 16th where we topped a thousand listens. Not entirely sure Mm -hmm. why. (laughs) But yeah, our, our most popular episode thus far, it's a tie between the first part of Dreams and Nightmares and the bygone bestiary minisode. So... Hmm. Go figure. Yeah. On YouTube, it's a bit more. Uh, we didn't really release it till late November when I found this thing. You had tried uploading a few app manually with the older process, which is a pain in the butt, it sounds like. I'm trying to hand. It was just rendering episodes. the video. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. is this new way. I basically set up a few things. Basically, YouTube becomes like a new podcast player that listens to the stream and just gets one thing. And then it just makes them all into videos and then I had to sort it out and stuff. So that, but anyway, so our metrics aren't before November 18th, I think don't really mm. mean anything. And then there's this big spike because YouTube likes it when we upload like 70 videos at once. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> but I think we're still growing. We're getting more subscribers. The top episode so far is actually the changeling, the Celtic cycle. <laughs> I'm glad people are so into that. I, yeah. I, it's, you know, such a strange little artifact of late 90s culture, and I'm glad. But the, the next one is episode one, Introduction to Changing the Dreaming. And your previous upload of it hmm. had also been the most popular. So I think people just want introduction, what the heck's changing the dreaming, and they're liking this for that. And after that, it's just sort of more... Mishmashy. Yeah, when people just, like, the stuff that's come out since we started doing it is more popular. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I'm a little bit confused by these metrics when i look at this but i think i think the view camp's generally going with newer episodes Mm. as they come out and as more people are getting it they're 
listening to it. Yeah. So. Right on. Other stuff from the last few months. I have to say, visiting PAX Unplugged is always a... It's a joy. It's a very busy joy, but it is still a joy. And I would recommend to anyone who's into tabletop role-playing and finds themselves in Philadelphia, please consider stopping by. If you're in the area the, at the right time. I, I also had the opportunity to sit in on a call with Nikki Rea and pass along some questions from our Discord. I have no idea if or when that will be released because it's not something that I'm in charge of. But if it is, I will certainly be sharing it with the community. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely lovely. <laughs> so what about the future? What are we doing next? Season three. Well, yeah, season three. So we're going to do a few things before we do Changeling the Dreaming 20th Anniversary Edition core book. Our not lost in the library episodes that are talking about theme, but also we had a few of the Changeling-ish books in between that came out in between Time of Judgment, or not even Time of Judgment, some of them came out before Time of Judgment, but that and came out before C20. So I don't know if we figured out how we're going to tackle that giant core <sighs> book of C20. It's going to be at least three episodes. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, if Dreams and Nightmares was three yeah. episodes, how? Do... <laughs> well, and this is an opportunity to remind people that if you sign up for our Discord, we have a Parliament of Dreams channel, as well as occasional polls where we discuss how to handle things like this with the community. And we'd like to hear from you. So if you have particularly strong mm -hmm. thoughts about how we should handle the C20 Gore book, please feel free to share. Yeah. And then I would really like to hit episode 100 at the end of the year. I think that would be a nice... <laughs> like, are we trying to time it so it's like the year ends with episode 100 or just get it before? I, I think we're pretty close because if looking at the slate that we have, looking at the C20 line the sort of books that are between second edition and C20, the theme episodes we have on our list, mm -hmm. a couple other. I think we'll go over a hundred in season three. If we, if we do the same rate we did in season one and two, I, I would be okay with slowing down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes. If we hit episode 100 near the end of next year, I think we've earned a slightly longer mm -hmm. break at that point. Yeah. We could always just record it all and then just stop for a while. Yeah. In space That's there. true too, but we'll see. Yeah, I think we, we our backlog got cut down when we were doing this, like we're yeah. recording and then you're releasing it like less than a week later. So. Yeah, which will not continue to happen in season three. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I also want to highlight the Changeling 30th anniversary project once more, because we are still recruiting for people who want to be involved as authors, as editors, as proofreaders, as artists, as layout folks, etc., We'll be working on a slate of books throughout 2024, concurrent with season three, for release in 2025 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Changeling. And I think at present count, we have nine books that people are involved with. We have a couple pitches for others, but there is information on our Patreon and there will be links in the show notes to find out more if you're interested. Currently, all right, let me see if I can rattle these off the top of my head. Lore of the Kiths, the Kith Sorceries book, the Puka Chronicle, Kith book Merfolk, a Southeast Europe book, a Fiefs of Bright Paradise Caribbean book, the Book of Seemings, the Changeling Cook book, and the Lore book. That was the last one. And a couple more potential ones in the pipeline. So we welcome all and sundry to apply. I don't know if you have um, individual plans on your side for the coming... Uh, for I mean, I'm still working on... I don't know. I need to get my first, my own first storyteller book supplement, and like most of them are changeling. And I just keep so much in my personal life going on right now. It's hard to yeah do it. But and then I get this writing inspiration. <laughs> so I'm still tired from doing something on. I'll get lifted on lucid dreaming. Ooh. And uh, that's yeah. changeling in a nutshell, though, isn't it? Like you get these waves of inspiration, and then life yeah. just catches up for a while. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm like self rhapsodying or something. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> rapture not rhapsody that's no no but i think i'm self rhapsodying that's the problem that's why i get so tired oh, no after. well it's what happens is i get this idea and it's like 6 p.m i'll get this idea and i just start writing it you know i'm taking breaks to eat and stuff and then like comes around to bedtime and i'm like oh i really should go to bed and then I'm just all night i'm just thinking about stuff for the book and then then i get too tired to write well that's all perfectly normal i need a better approach yeah yeah 
I mean, I have a, I have a couple projects as well on my slate that I'm going to be trying to. Yeah. You're a machine. You just pump. Well, those out. it's, <laughs> it's the ideas just constantly percolate in the back of my head when I actually should be paying attention to other yeah. things. But then, oh, oh, the ideas are constantly percolating in the back of my head. I'm mm. just not putting them into books. That's the first one is the hardest for sure. Yeah. So yeah, the next one's going to be New York City focused. It's going to be a whopper, mm. I think. But yeah, I guess also just lastly from me, I want to plug the Discord and the Patreon as always. Please yep. stop by discord.me slash ctp or www.patreon.com slash changeling the podcast because we very much value your support, both in terms of communication yep. and financial. Yeah, and the, the Discord, it's doing great there. There's lots of people talking. It's great. Patreon is like, thank you so much. You're, yes. you're actually a big help to people who are helping, but... I feel weird saying this. Our hosting costs alone aren't quite covered yet by the Patreon, Easy. let alone upfront costs like equipment or, you know, our own time. So like if you are able to and you're listening to this, that would really help yeah. if you even just a dollar. It um, takes a lot of work. Yeah. So right now it's not even we're, we're losing money on this still, which it's not a massive amount of money, but it's yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like a PBS mm -hmm. telethon right now. Yeah, yeah. I just I felt weird saying that, but I think I probably yeah. should. But we want to be honest. We have to be upfront. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because I had somebody joking about like, well, you're making lots of money on Patreon, right? I'm like, no. It's kind of like when people are like, oh, you know, you're making all that money from your books that you're writing on Storyteller's Vault, and I just kind of stare at them and hiss like an opossum. Yep. So, but I think I think with this that the YouTube channel eventually that might start making money, hmm. and with the Patreon, I think I could see, I'm hoping by the end of season three, the podcast might be paying for itself. Hey, so that, would that would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Or is that sufficient state of the podcast 2023? Yeah, I think that's pretty sufficient state of the podcast. You can always come and chat with us on more stuff on the discord. Like you said. Um, yeah. But yeah. Much appreciation and a shout out to our patrons who get a call out at the end of each episode, who include Derek, Dorchidas, Oreo, Raz Caboose, Sanjager, Sija, Terry Robinson, and Triceravath, and hopefully many more of you in the future. How many names was that? That was eight. Okay. Well, unless someone signs up in the next few days and doesn't get... We'll get, we'll get the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll, be in, you'll be in the first one next season. Oh, well, should we give an idea of when they might be seeing... Hearing ah, episode, yes. Well... So I would say cast your eye or your ear to the airwaves in two months, give or take, unless something happens before then that we decide we want to do a quick episode mm -hmm. on, which is not impossible. Certainly, I will be sleeping for the next three weeks nonstop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy holidays. I, I've got a lot going on that too. Anyway. Yeah. anyway, so yeah, we don't do the shout outs on our, these episodes, right? They're yeah, I mean, we can just... Yeah. Just just cut it. Just follow the, the show notes. Bye. <laughs>